Hello and welcome to my new strength series. Just like a lot of you, I grew up watching The World's Strongest Man. And as a kid, I never believed that I could train my strength to lift even what some of the world's strongest men cannot lift. That to me is just the sickest thing in the world. I have always been a fan of strong men, and I'm also coming into my strongest years. So while I can, I want to challenge myself by attempting the heaviest strongman events known. Feats done by the strongest men in the world to be exact. I am Australian strongman, training out of my little gym in Australia, self-taught, self-coached, with some bits and pieces of strongman equipment, and a huge passion for strength. Pretty much as raw as you can get. But that's what I love about it. No matter where the sport ends up, I'll be here, being a real strong man. Strength is in my blood, and I only have one question. Can I stand with the strongest man on earth? This is the road to world's strongest man. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got uh, more frame carries. I know I'm doing a lot of frame carries lately. But that's because I'm building up now to a big frame, which is going to be the first attempt for the Road to World Strongest Man series. So yeah, I'm just, uh, today it's a little bit heavier than last session. I've got a 330 kilo frame for 15 meters. I'm also gonna finish off with some axle deadlifts and some accessories. So stick around and let's get it. So I just had this stone delivered this morning by Phil Burgess from Atlas Stones Australia. This is a 168 kilo stone, smooth finish. And uh, yeah, Phil makes great stones and um, he delivers around Sydney and maybe I don't know how far out, but um, definitely check into it. Um, very good quality stones, um, awesome dude as well. So yeah, Atlas Stones Australia. a beast event. Just unlike other events, you can't really bullshit your way around it. Either you're strong or you're not. So yeah, frame carry. What's that, Aiden? It's milk. I drink milk for. Full cream. Because I'm, I don't uh, get my strength out of a, out of a bottle. Even though this is a bottle, you know what I mean. Okay, I'll tell you why I drink the milk. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you why I drink the milk. I drink the milk because, um, okay, for one, it's calories, okay? Very nutrient dense. Has a lot of uh, B vitamins. And uh, yeah, you got fats in there, you got carbs in there. Just, um, you people have their post workout and their pre workout. But no one ever stopped to think about their, you know, their during workout, <laughs> what you consume during your workout. But um, yeah, it's, um, it's natural, it's got, it promotes growth, good for you. I like taste. Okay. <laughs> Still good. To the distance. That's all that really matters. That's it for the event training. The weight's there, it's just um, lacking a bit of uh, foot speed and that comes down to just being at a lot of body weight. Still under 120 kilos. So hopefully over the coming weeks as the body weight goes up a little bit, these weights aren't so hard to move around. Alright, let's move on. Have you noticed like in the strongman community, all these like weird, like Satanist looking kind of characters coming in? Have you noticed that at all? 
really stupid trend. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be the first one to say that uh, you're all a bunch of freaks. <laughs> I'll be the second to say it. Fuck you guys. That was um pretty good. Oh. See that? It's called a flavor. Me and my brothers, um, our dad used to cook us T-bone steaks, but he'd just put it in the in the grill with no salt or anything, no seasoning, no nothing. Just put it in the grill and just cook it. Well done. So it wasn't even like you know, it was just dry. I think that's that's it, bro. Too cooked for my liking, but still pretty decent. All right, that's it today, guys. See you guys in the next video. Oh, yeah.